Join me today as we visit my client's house in Mayfair. This is a grade two star listed building in a conservation area. We're in the midst of doing a full gut refurb. I love how we're able to blend the traditional features with his awesome contemporary artwork collection and amazing mid-century furniture. While the house was in absolute pristine condition, the truth is it hadn't been touched in over 30 years. In addition, my client really loved to throw big parties which caused the floors to sag. This used to be the room where all the parties would happen. Cool. Yeah, there used to be a DJ booth right there and everybody dancing like crazy. <laughs> it's like freeze art parties. <laughs> um, so yeah, this is where, this is where the happening room was. This um, was a TV sitting room over here. Um, I think the goal really is to restore a lot of the features and not try to take them down but rather enhance them. Every time there's um, like a home with like unique original features, even this like beautiful cast iron balustrade, even though that's not original. Um, this is a grade two listed home. Uh, it's under conservation, so we are very careful with the planning that took uh, quite a long time to get approved. Hello, how are you? So this is the old master bedroom. And this is the master bathroom, it's quite big. So this is still going to be the master ensuite. Isn't this going to be huge? Yeah. There's to be a ginormous <laughs> Egyptian bathtub here, which we've completely taken out and are going to turn into a um, beautiful marble kind of steam room sauna. Here's another room. Um, hi. Hello. hi. Sorry about that. Hello. Hello. Dara? Hi. Dara, nice Hi. to meet you. Oh, DHL. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay, fine. Nice. <laughs> yeah, good. Oh, look. A nice little peek hole. This was the former, this used to be his bedroom. It still will be a bedroom. So the famous basement is where all the parties happened. They, there was a massive pool there, but we have decided to cover up the pool and um, turn it into a basically a, a lounge kind of like kind of like a football lounge boy section almost you know have you heard of the word man cave you've heard of man cave you've heard of man cave right this man has heard of man cave okay i want a man cave you want a man cave most people go there to escape their wives right and their kids so so basically the basement is going to be a massive man cave um You've seen the CGI, right? like, it's the one with the movie theater and the yeah, yeah, velvet green sofas. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I mean, most people thought it was a hotel, so <laughs> it's basically probably the nicest man cave. Um, but mostly, you know, chill with friends, relax. So this is the entrance to the man cave. This is, um, you know, he's gonna have like winery. This is a huge service kitchen this way. This is the entrance to the, what used to be a DJ bar. You know what was amazing is when we took, when we took the walls apart, we found this amazing fresco underneath. Interesting. Which actually, <laughs> I mean, look, it's not original, original. We're not in Italy here, but yeah. it is, um, it's pretty old and it was put there a long time ago. It's been covered up. So this is where the pool sits. Yeah. So you can't tell, but there's actually a huge pool in underneath here. And the steam rooms, the massage rooms, the saunas, the bathrooms, and everything's gonna be marble. Dream. Um, the lighting. We'll come in here with our turbans. Here's another spa sauna sauna room. I know. I'm massively jealous but luckily we're friends so hopefully I can come and 
test the facilities out, you know. Because it's part of my job, obviously. Look at the ceilings in this room. Absolutely amazing. And one thing I also love about this place is actually the back door space. So, it's amazing to be in London. Bye bye guys. Thanks so much for coming with me today. I hope you'll stay tuned to see the next steps. I really can't wait to watch this all get put together.